uh, just asking you, is that the new threat? Yes, that is something that French anti-terror um, police have been very concerned about, and security experts here say, in a way, that's a much bigger threat because you can watch a cell coming together. If you find one person you believe is involved in a cell, then if you monitor movements, you might have some ideas that something is happening. But one person alone doing this at home is very difficult to watch. Already the French have a very long list of people they know who have traveled to Syria or who have tried to travel to Syria and northern Iraq and who they believe have links with ISIS and then Turned, and they are concerned that some of them, at least, will try something. It doesn't have to be um, anything big. It doesn't need someone to have um, a lot of explosives. Um, you can just drive into a crowd, and certainly that is something that they would be concerned about. The fact that um, President Hollande is running a crisis meeting tonight um, about this and that the Paris anti-terrorist police have taken over the investigation immediately indicate just how seriously the French authorities are taking that threat. And Elaine, just a couple of updates for our viewers. We now know that the Central Hospital in Nice has set up an emergency phone number for those who are concerned about friends or relatives who may have been uh, caught up in this attack. We also know that local officials in Nice are setting up a hotline uh, for people who may have uh, some kind of psychological stress in the aftermath of this attack, which now uh, we know has left at least 73 people dead, over 100 people uh, injured. Uh, Elaine, as DeMarco uh, was talking earlier about this, uh, the idea that uh, ISIS, uh, if it is ISIS or any other terrorist organization, is constantly evolving. In other words, it almost seems as if they are, in some cases, one step ahead of uh, officials because uh, you have all of these measures that are put into place. You have the state of emergency that was in the, declared back in November, and yet Francois Hollande Thank was you. thinking about removing that state of emergency uh, because, as Fran Townsend pointed out, there was never a sense uh, as of just a couple of days ago, just even a couple of hours ago, uh, that there was an imminent attack. Well, the state of emergency was kept on largely because there was the month-long Euro 2016 uh, soccer championships and the Tour de France, and of course straddling this Bastille Day weekend. And there was a feeling that those were kind of perfect dates and perfect targets if somebody wanted to attack them either as a group or a lone wolf. Um, and there is, it's very much um, something that they said you cannot keep the state of emergency going constantly, just as Terry was saying was happening in Brussels. The French police and the French military have been saying they're exhausted. They have spent 18 months um, constantly on duty. Um, and there's a serious concern, too, about the effectiveness of some of the parts of the national state of emergency um, plans, the parliamentary inquiry into terrorism to the tax to the attacks last year found that in fact many of the measures such as putting on extra police at schools at churches and synagogues were not really effective that you were throwing a lot of people at checking something but ultimately was that what was really going to make a difference now it has to be said too however that um, there have been far more recruits in the past year to the military and to the police since the attacks there was this kind of effect, feel good effect, if you will, after the Charlie Hebdo attacks, when people um, showed a lot of sympathy for the police who lost one of their own, uh, who lost two of their own, sorry, and also um, people felt they wanted to take part in the fight to protect France. But it's still not enough. And any time we talk to the police or the military, they say, look, you know, I don't know how much longer we can keep going. We're exhausted. Uh, Elaine, stand by. I just want to share with our viewers uh, uh, from the Elysee Palace uh, Twitter account. There you see a picture uh, showing President Francois Hollande, the Prime Minister Manuel Valls, along with the Interior Minister, uh, in what is a sort of a situation room uh, as they are reacting, as the world is now also reacting to uh, the report that 73 people have been killed.